10 on one. So, uh, so we're going to do some uh, warm up exercises first, uh, and you can either do this sitting in a chair or standing. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to stand up. And let's see, get this full screen here. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so uh, let's just relax. Have your feet shoulder width apart. <clears throat> and slowly raise your arms up. Push down and back. Remember the important thing is, is to remember to breathe. Try not to hold your breath while we're doing all of these exercises and movements. And let's form an imaginary ball, the size of a basketball or a beach ball. And we're gonna start with the right hand on top, left hand on the back. We're just gonna move the ball slowly over to the other side, turning your head slightly and rotating the ball. Now we have the left hand up on top and move it back over to the right side. Turn your head slightly, rotate the ball. I'm going to turn a little bit more. Rotate the ball again. Rotate the ball and one more time. Turn it to waist 180 degrees. Rotate the ball. Turn it to waist 180 degrees. Now we're going to bring the ball to the center. Just push the ball back. And now we're going to expand the ball and spread. Stretch your fingers and relax them. Back to the center. Again, holding the ball. Stretch your fingers and relax them. One more time. Now we're going to go vertically with the ball. Rotate it. Now we're going to reach to the diagonal as if we're reaching for the peanut butter jar in the back of the cabinet. Thank you. 
Now we're going to make some big inward circles. And some big outward circles. Okay, just bring your arm down to your side and relax for just a few seconds. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> before we uh, before we start doing the uh, the movements of the 20, uh, 20 movement form, the first twelve movements, uh, I want to show the footwork, and I'm going to set the screen. A little bit so you can see my feet. <clears throat> okay, so uh, in, in this form, uh, we do what's called. Uh, for those of you who have, have uh, done the better balance with me before, the better balance class, remember we, we stepped to the diagonal and we shifted the weight and we rocked back and then pivot so the foot goes straight ahead. So, so this is the better balance form of the, of the footwork. <clears throat> but in the 24 movement form, we do what's called a bow step. And it, it's really uh, just kind of a, a, a circular step. And I'm, I'm gonna demonstrate that right now. So, and it's actually about a, not even a full step. Uh, and if I took a step forward, it would be like that. But in this form, we're doing a little circular step, shifting the weight forward, rocking back, and then pivoting to that 45 degree angle. Step up. <clears throat> Got to adjust the screen just a little bit more. Okay, so, so we both step, we shift the weight forward, rock back and pivot to that 45 degree angle. Going straight ahead, we shift the weight forward, rock back, and then we pivot on the heel to that 45 degree angle. Can, can everyone see that? Rock back and then pivot. Okay, so that's called called the bow step. <clears throat> okay, so uh, we're we're going to concentrate on, on probably three or four of the movements today, uh, depending on the time. So we're going to start again with our feet shoulder width apart. Hands at your side. And put the weight over on your right leg. Step in with your left foot and then step to the side with your left foot. So your feet are shoulder width apart. And then think of yourself sitting in a hot tub. You're up to, the, up to your neck in the water. It's a big hot tub. Okay. And we're just going to let the arms float up to shoulder height. I'll open the door. So from this position, let the arms float up. I bend the elbows slightly. Okay. And shift your weight over to your left leg. Now we're going to pivot on your right heel. When you make that pivot on the right heel, I'm going to adjust the screen again so you can see that. <clears throat> when 
when you pivot, you're going to pivot on the right heel. So, so here we are, feet straight ahead. Shift the weight over to the left leg, pivot on the right heel. Okay, so <clears throat> now we got that footwork in. Okay, so we're bending the elbows, shifting the weight, pivoting on the right heel. So we're going to form a ball, a ball on the right side. Okay, so anytime the ball is on the right, right hand is going to be on top. Anytime the ball is on the left side, the left hand will be on top. So we're just switching hands. Okay. So here we go. We're going to start. We're going to part the wild horse's mane. Okay. So we we open the we shifted the weight. We're pivoting on the ball. We're going to do that bow step. Remember, it's just a certain step, about a quarter of a circle, and we're going to part the wild horse's mane. And in this movement, <clears throat> after we take the step, the palms are going to come over each other, but the, but the hands are not going to touch. So they come very close, and you should feel heat from the palm of your hands. So this area here, middle of the, of the palm, that as they pass over each other, you're going to feel some heat. Hopefully, everyone feels it. <laughs> okay, so that's parting the wild horse's mane. And the right hand is going to come at your side, palm facing the floor. And we're going to end up looking at our left palm. Okay, now. So the left and the left foot is going straight ahead. So so let's try that again from the very beginning. So we have our feet shoulder width apart, hands at our side, and relax, relax. Put the weight on the right leg. Step in with the left foot. Step to the side with the left foot. So again, we have our feet shoulder width apart. We're going to open the door. Slowly raise up to shoulder height. Bend the elbows as we shift the weight over to the left leg. Pivot on the right heel. We start forming a ball on the right side. A bunch of little movements going on there. And now, the bow step. I'm going to part the wild horse's mane. Okay. I'm going to move over this way a little bit so you can see the next move. And okay, now I shift the weight forward, I'm going to shift the weight back and pivot on my left heel to that 45 degree angle. So I step up, I'm forming on the left side with the left hand on top. Okay, I'm going to close that. And part the wild horse's mane over to the right side. And when I finish doing that, I'm looking at my right palm. The left palm is down at my side, palm facing the floor. So just a bit of what we did on the left side. I'm going to rock back and pivot. <clears throat> Start forming the ball again as I step up. I'm going to do one more bow step and part the wild horse's mane one right on the left side. So, just to go over this a little bit, when we part the wild horse's mane, we do it once on the left side, once on the right side, and then again one more time on the left side. So let, let me just demonstrate that. And, uh, you can either watch or, or follow along. So 
We're going to form the ball. Mark the wild horse's mane. One. Two. And the third time. So we got three part the wild horse's mane, horse's manes. Left side, right side, left side. After the third part the wild horse's mane, we're gonna do a half step up with the right foot. We're gonna turn to that 45 degree angle as we start forming a ball. This movement is called the white crane spreads its wings. I'm going to turn, face straight ahead. As I turn, I'm going to turn my palm so the palm is facing me. Turn my hand so the palm is facing me. Look at the middle of your palm for a second as it goes down. Make a half circle. The left arm is going to follow it, making another half circle. Okay, so let's, let's go over this from the very beginning again. I know it's a lot of repetition, uh, especially for those who are, already know the form. <clears throat> uh, but when you're first learning this form, it, it's, it's good to repeat uh, quite often. So let's go from the very beginning. Okay, feet are shoulder width apart, hands at our side. Oh, and I forgot one important thing. Always bend your knees. Don't lock your knees. Bend the Okay, so here we go. We're gonna step in with the left foot. Step to the side with the left foot. Your knees bent. Slowly raise the arms up. Picture yourself in that hot tub, up to your neck in the water. Elbows and shift the weight over to the left leg. Keep it on the right heel as we start to form a ball on the right side. Right hand on top. We're going to do a bow step. Part the wild horse's mane. Rock back and pivot for the left. Bow step and part the wild horse's mane on the right side. Rock back and pivot. Come back to the ball. Ball on the right. One more bow step. One more part to our first thing. Okay, so end it up here. Half step up with the right foot. And the right foot's going to be at a 45 degree angle as you make that half step up. We're going to start to form the ball. We're going to make the ball smaller and smaller. We're going to drop the ball. This is the white crane spreading its wings. Okay, so we want to end up in this position where the right hand is protecting your right forehead. And then turn, face straight ahead. As you turn, turn your hand so your palm is facing you. In the meantime, the left hand is over on your left side, palm facing the floor. Okay. Look at your palm for a second. Now we're going to make a big half circle with the right arm. The left arm is going to follow to protect your right elbow. And look at your right palm. You're going to go into what's called the brush knee and push. So brush knee and push. We're going to both step. We're going to brush with the left hand, brushing across our left knee. Pushing with the right hand, pushing straight ahead. Okay, and what we're doing in this movement, uh, picture yourself with an, an, an opponent right in front of you, and the opponent's going to try to kick you with his right leg. What we're doing, and I'm going to face you on this so you can see this, uh, as, he, as he goes to do the kick, 
I post that. I'm knocking his knee or his leg off to the side, knocking him off balance and pushing him straight into the chest. So I'm knocking him off balance, pushing him. So just so you have an idea, what, what are your hands doing <laughs> throughout all these movements? Okay, so, uh, so let's do the, uh, from the white crane, spreading its wings, we're gonna go into the brushing and push. So turn and look at your right palm. Bow step, we're gonna brush and push. Rock back and pivot. And as you rock back and pivot, you turn and look at your left palm. And in the meantime, the right hand protecting your left elbow. So both step one more time, brush across the right knee this time. Remember you're knocking your opponent's leg, knocking them off balance, pushing with the left hand. We're gonna do this one more time. Turn and look at your right palm. Both step, brush, and push. So, uh, so let's go from the very beginning and put it all the movement. <clears throat> so we're going to start off with our, our feet shoulder width apart. Both toes are pointing straight ahead. Just so you can see the, the feet. This is mainly for the uh, any new people that we have uh, for, uh, participating today. So the feet are shoulder width apart. Okay. Hands at my side. Step in. Both feet are pointing straight ahead. Okay. Step to the side. Okay. And then from there, we're going to open the door. Okay. So I just step to the side and we're going to open the door. Let the hands and arms float up. Bend the elbow as you shift your weight over to your left leg. Pivot on the right heel, forming a ball. On the right side, the right hand on top. You do that quarter of a circle to step the bow step. You part the wild horse's mane three times. back a little bit, taking too big of a step for the screen. <laughs> One more part of the wild horse's man. We're going to half step up with the right foot. As we do that, we're going to turn in the direction of our right foot, which is at about a 45 degree angle. We're going to start forming a ball. We're going to start compressing the ball, and then pretty soon the ball is going to disappear. Up. My right arm is going to swing up into the air to protect my right forehead. Turn, facing straight ahead. As I turn, turn. The right hand, so the palm is facing you. The right arm is going to make a half circle followed by the left arm coming over to protect your right elbow. Look at your right palm. I'm gonna go into the brush and push. So you bow step, brush, push, pivot, turn and look at your left palm. Bow step, brush, Push, and one more time. Turn and look at your right palm, bow step, 
Russian push. Okay, so uh, yeah, I realize this is a lot for you. Uh, any of the new newer people that are, are watching uh, and participating today, uh, but don't worry, it all comes together. Uh, the more often we, we, we do these movements, uh, the more it's going to sink into your muscle memory. All right, so uh, <clears throat> we have a few minutes left. Let's do it. Uh, one more time from the very beginning. Okay, so our feet are shoulder width apart. Bend your knees slightly. Then droop the shoulders. Just relax. You're gonna step in, putting your weight on the right legs, and with the left foot, step to the side with the left. And open the door. Slowly raising the arms up to shoulder height. Bending the elbows. Just like you're floating in the water. Shift your weight over to your left leg, pivot on your right heel. Five degree from the ball on the right, right hand on top, full step, left foot, part the wild horse's mane three times. Step up with the right foot. The white crane spreads its wings. Go into the back a little bit. And turn and look at your right palm. Go step, brush across your left knee, push with the right hand. You step up, turn and look at your left palm, go step, cross the right knee, push with the left hand, look at your right palm again, go step, push, and push. Okay, so how's everyone doing? Yes. So, uh, I know some of you are asking, what comes next? So, after that third brushing and push that we just did, we're going to do a half step up. And this movement is called Play the Pipa. And the Pipa uh, is a Chinese musical instrument, uh, kind of like a, a guitar or a banjo. So you're holding the neck of the pipa and plucking the strings with your right hand. You want to end up in this position. So let's do that one more time. We've got a couple minutes left. Uh, so after the third brush knee and push, we're going to do a half step up and play the pipa. And one other thing I uh, failed to mention, lift your left toes. Okay. So we want to end up playing the pipa. The left toe is up. Okay. So do we have enough time to do it one more time? We've got a couple minutes. Let's do it one more time from the very beginning. So let me adjust the screen a little bit more. There we go. So let's go from the very beginning. Open the door. And we're going to part the wild horse's mane three times.
Half step up. The white crane spreads its wings. Brush me and push. Three times. Half step up, lay the people. So, <clears throat> so we covered quite a bit uh, today. And uh, again, uh, it takes a while for uh, every, everything to come together, the coordination of the movements, the breathing, uh, the hand movements, uh, and, and don't worry about it. The more we do this together, uh, it becomes and uh, it'll all go into your muscle memory and pretty soon you'll be doing the entire form.